To the Clinton campaign now and another release of hacked emails. The batch that was just released continues to raise questions about what Democratic presidential nominee says in public and then what she says in private. Nancy Cordes takes a look. America is better than this. In Seattle, Clinton said Trump has become an international embarrassment. I take no satisfaction in seeing what Trump does and says because it hurts, it hurts me and it hurts our country. It hurts but Clinton might want to thank her opponent, whose wild week obscured people. the WikiLeaks release of more than 10,000 emails hacked from the account of her campaign chair, John Podesta. They reveal he got a barrage of free advice from outside allies about how Clinton could shore up nagging shortcomings. Former Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm suggested last July that Clinton combat the image that she is out of touch or in a bubble by selecting eight occupations that she is willing to spend one day working at. For example, perhaps she buses tables at Denny's or works behind the counter at McDonald's. Last September, Podesta's former think tank partner, Neera Tanden, wrote, Everyone wants her to apologize over her use of a private server, and she should. Apologies are like her Achilles heel. In January, Democratic strategist Steve Hildebrand advised she needs to find an emotional connection. She also needs to be bold and not be politically calculating. The messages go back 10 years. In one from 2008, a group of Democratic strategists prepare a public survey to test attacks against then-Senator Barack Obama, including his father was a Muslim, his former use of cocaine, and his support of issues like gay adoption. Strategist Paul Begala, who was part of that email exchange, says the survey was not put together for the 08 Clinton campaign. He says it was an effort to test the potency of potential attacks by Republican John McCain if Mr. Obama became the Democratic nominee. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.